Hi guys, welcome back to the video. Today I will introduce some basic functionalities with an FTK Imager. In my previous video, I showed you guys how to download FTK Imager and how to add evidence files with an FTK Imager. To begin with, we will look at the different viewing panes with an FTK Imager. We have a tree pane on the left and the view pane on the right. This, show, this will show you the contents of a folder when you are inside a folder. An example could be when you select the desktop folder, this will show you the contents of that specific folder. This section will also show you, show you the size, the type of file and the modified date for certain files. To view more files within folders, you would click the plus sign next to a source folder to expand the view to display its subfolders. Then to close it, you would simply select the minus to hide its content. When you hide an object in the evidence tree, its contents are not going to be displayed in the file list. The properties of the selected object, such as its object type, location, or the storage media and size are displayed in the properties tab below. The properties tab shows location of the storage me media, the size and any data combined in the selected object is displayed in the viewer pane here on the right. To begin with we will be looking at the um, Hunter XP evidence file so just to view some more information regarding this specific evidence file, you would just simply select Hunter XP and we will get some more information regarding the actual evidence file, such as this MD5 hash, which can be considered a digital fingerprint. The bytes per sector, uh, which is basically a stored fixed amount of user accessible data. We also have more information regarding the actual image file. So we have the image type, which is a .eo1 file. Um, a .eo1 file is basically an NCASE image file. We also have um, the operating system where this evidence file was actually acquired. And as you can see, it says Windows 2000. The next folder we will look at is root. Now, in this scenario we can consider root as a c drive as this has a lot of system information regarding the um the hunter xp this user so as you can see we have a few folders here now for example if we go into recycler now within this folder we can view um deleted files so as you can see we have quite a few jpeg images here and that red X besides the name indicates that it is a deleted folder. You can right click and export these files, but most likely you won't be able to view its context before it because it has actually been deleted. So the other files we can look at are, for example, we have the um, what this user had on their desktop. So as you can see, we have quite a few, quite a few things here. We have some shortcuts. We have some links. We also have cookies. So basically, um, browsers storing some extra information regarding a certain user. And um, we have a lot of Bob Hunter indicating that this is the main user because a lot of this is linking back to it. So if we consider the other folders we have. So we have documents so and my pictures. There is not a lot of pictures here, but mainly because a lot of them are in the deleted files folder. Another feature offered by FTK Imager is its hex value interpreter. Now basically the hex value interpreter tab converts hexadecimal values into the viewer into decimal and sometimes um, date and time values. This can be very important during an investigation as you can actually get the time zone information and other relevant data. So another really interesting feature that is built in to the FTK Imager platform is its preview modes. Now FTK Imager offers three 
modes for previewing electronic data. So we have automatic mode, text mode and hex mode. And as you can see up here, these three icons here, this is the automatic mode. We have text view and then hex view. Now, basically these, these modes are selectable from the mode menu or from the toolbar as shown here, as shown above here. Now, a quick introduction to them modes. Um, automatic mode, which is this first one here, automatically chooses the best method for previewing a file's content according to the file type. Um, an example could be for a web page. Web-related graphics, such as GIFs or JPEGs, and any other media types for which you know, browsers, plugins have been installed are displayed by an embedded version of a browser or viewer. Um, another thing we can talk about are some file types that cannot be viewed in Internet, Internet Explorer or Google Chrome, which don't have a native viewer, are displayed in default. Um, that would be in the hex view, hex format. The text mode, which is this middle one, basically allows you to view a file's content or its Unicode characters, even if the file is not a TXT file. This mode can be useful for viewing text and binary and data that is not visible when a file is viewed in its native application. And finally, the hex view. Now, the hex mode allows you to view every single byte of data in a file as a hexadecimal code. Um, with an FTK imager, you can use the hex value interpreter to interpret hexadecimal values um, as decimals um, and possible date time values. To remove evidence files from FTK imager, the toolbar above here has a lot of options, but if you were to select remove evidence item, it would remove a specific selected evidence for item or the icon beside it would remove all the evidence items that is shown in that tree pane. Within FTK Imager, we have an option here to obtain protected files. Now basically what this is, is the Windows operating system basically does not allow you to copy or save live registry files. So FTK Imager provides a much easier solution. It basically finds a way around the Windows operating system, thus allowing you to copy registry files. To view the Windows registry files, simply find Windows and you would go to System32 and you would go to Config. Now within, within this folder, you will find the Windows registry files so we have system software, security, and SAM. Now these are all Windows registry files that can be exported to a selected location. Within FTK Imager, every file can be replicated and copied without affecting the original evidence file. Now this is very important when it comes to a forensic investigation as any sort of modifications or tampering with evidence could make the evidence you cannot basically use it because it's been tampered with and it would affect the continuity and basically a lot of issues would arise if the actual original evidence file had been modified so in this video today, we basically covered basic functionalities and some really powerful features within FTK Imager. Now, these, Im these features can be used in a forensic investigation as, for example, finding the Windows registry files, replicating images, um, obtain live registry files. All this is very it's a very powerful way of viewing data, data analysis, data extraction. You can also view the, as shown previously, the deleted pictures. Now, 
unfortunately due to them being deleted most of the time you can't actually recover the actual the visual file however you can still view the file header the most of the time the exif metadata is still there which can be looked at using third party tools and if you guys do have any more questions regarding anything relating to FTK Imager, please feel free to contact me. My email address will be shown below, as well as the evidence file, Hunter XP. Thank you very much for listening.